This is Eugene Panrukovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron N5040 laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron N5040 laptop computer. Uh, before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to disconnect all power to it, and this means removing the battery. And the way we do that is flip the laptop over and slide the two levers above the battery out and then just slide the battery out like so. Once the battery is out, we can work on the laptop safely. In order to get to the screen, we have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And usually with most laptops to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove some screws. But for newer Dell laptops, they just snap on so you don't have to remove the screws. But before we get started, I'm going to go over the tools we need to do the job. We have some electronics screwdrivers. Uh, the one that we'll probably use most of the time, if not all the time, is a PH1 screwdriver. P stands for Phillips or PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size of the screwdriver. So if nothing else, you just need a PH1 screwdriver. Just in case, we have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws, and a flathead 2 millimeter screwdriver to get to screws at an angle, but most likely we probably won't use this one. In addition, we have some metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck and an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife that's to remove plastic screw covers, but since we don't have any screw covers on this laptop, we probably won't use it also. But this is the standard toolkit that you use to replace laptop screens with. Okay, so the first step, and probably the most difficult one, is to remove the screen bezel. And the way we do that, we snap it off, we put our fingertips on the screen side and gently lift the bezel up and out and listen for snapping sounds. Once you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the screen is coming off. And so you work your way around the screen, like so. And if you get stuck at any place, just keep moving past that place and come back to it later on. Same thing on the bottom. Keep moving like so. And then now we come back to the places where we get stuck at, and usually this is the corners. So you, try, you can try one of several different things on the corner. Just pull out and lift it up. That doesn't work, so this one's more stubborn. So sometimes what works is if you get one corner, you have more leverage to get to this corner, like so, and we remove it. So just Take your time on this, and the bezel will come on eventually. Okay, now we remove the bezel and put it to the side, and now we have the screen assembly. For this type of screen, 15.6 LED, it's mounted on screws by screws on the side to metal mounting brackets on the side. So we have to be able to access those screws, and as right now, as of right now, we can't because they're being blocked by some plastic pieces. So the next thing to do is to remove the two screws at the top here and here that are holding the metal mounting bracket to the back of the screen assembly and put the screws to the side. For each step, for each set of screws, I start a pile of screws for each step so I can keep track of which screws go where when I reassemble the laptop computer. Okay, once we remove the two screws at the top, we have more access to the screws on the side, but we see that the screw at the bottom that we have to get to is still blocked by a plastic piece. So there's another trick for that, and what you do, there's two screws on the lower right-hand side and two screws on the lower left-hand side that you loosen, not remove all together, just loosen maybe one or two turns, just enough so that the back of the screen assembly tilts away from the screen itself so we can access the screws 
on this side. So we are going to insert it some more. And let me make sure. And um, what I see happening is, is that the webcam cable is holding the screen back. So what I did, the webcam cable has some adhesive that's adhering to the screen. Now it's holding the screen from being tilted some more. So I put my thumb there and gently tilted the screen forward to loosen the adhesive. Now, having done this, we have enough tilt to get to the screws on the side. So we use our PH1 screwdriver. Actually, I'm going to loosen this up some more. Okay, and then we have, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws on the side. So there's two screws on each side, one and two. Now when you're putting the laptop back together, it's very important that you don't forget to tighten up these screws at the bottom. Otherwise your hinges will have trouble later on. So then we move the screws down here. One and two. This one's still stuck behind a plastic piece. And this is where our metal tweezers come in handy. See if we can remove the screws using the metal tweezers. I like to show how to use as many tools as possible for different kinds of situations. So we remove the last screw. And when you remove the last screw, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall forward. Once we do that, we gently tilt the screen forward and we see that the webcam cable is getting in the way. So what I did was I loosened the adhesive of the video cable, but I still see I can't put the screen down all the way with that webcam cable attached. So usually I don't like to redo this, but I'm going to remove the webcam cable also. So once I remove the webcam cable connector, I can put the screen down and now we have access to the back of the screen. So what we do next is we remove the connector that connects the screen to the video cable. In order to do that, there's some adhesive tape on the back of the connector that we use either fingernails or the X-Acto knife to lift up. In this case I use fingernails and usually there's adhesive on the back of the video cable. We lift that up also, and we gently pull the connector out, and it comes out. Okay, uh, once we do that, we have the screen out, but before we go on, I'm going to reconnect the connector, and I'm going to show you how to properly connect it. When you reconnect it, make sure you feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel them. And let's get a close-up what a proper connection looks like. Okay, this is a good focus. Pause the video right there, and this is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. That's very important, otherwise your screen won't work. Okay, so let's keep moving. Once again, we remove the connector, and we take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen, and as of mid-2012, it's commonly available. It's the most popular type of screens that's installed in laptops right now. So you should not have any trouble finding it. And let's look at the part number. The part number is N156B6. That's all you need to know, N156B6. Okay, you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is a free email technical support when you're doing your installation. We also offer a compatibility guarantee. If the screen you ship is not compatible, we'll replace it at no charge. We offer a two-year warranty with the screen, and we also ship all over the world. So if you're not in the United States, chances are we can ship it to you. So to buy the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com, 
Click Buy a Screen. Then there will be a short form for you to fill out with your email and your laptop model number. And once you do that, we'll send you an email back with the link to buy the right screen online. And then you can go ahead and purchase it. Now also, if you do not have the right tools at home to do this, we also have this toolkit available online. So when you go buy your screen, it should, it should be pretty easy to find once you buy the screen. Okay, um, that's it. So once you get your new screen, you put the connector back in, the screen connector back in, then you gently lift it up, put the webcam connector back in, make sure you don't forget that, then mount the screen using the mounting screws on the side. And don't forget to tighten these screws on the bottom, and then put the two screws in at the top, snap the bezel on, and you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.